Hey, Adam, it's been a hot topic for some time now, but the deadline is nearing for the vote on yet another public safety levy in Josephine County. NBC 5's Matt Jordan joins us live in studio with the latest. Matt. Craig Christine, Sheriff Dave Daniels says the levy is necessary for law enforcement to operate effectively in Josephine County. But opponents of the measure say it's a tax, and that's money county residents can't afford to spend. Public safety is needed. We can't afford it. On Tuesday, Josephine County residents will vote on Measure 1766, a public safety levy that's drawing a lot of heated debate. It's needed for the women that are, that are beaten and need help. It's, a, it's needed for the people that are being burglarized daily. The levy would increase property taxes by 3% in the county to pay for new deputies, jail beds, and reopen the juvenile center. So our kids that are not only in the detention, but in the shelter as well, the kids that need help, uh, will have a place to go. Opponents of the levy say it's just asking too much. The eighth attempt to do this in uh, 11 years, we keep voting them down and uh, somebody keeps bringing them back. Jack Swift says he's voted against public safety levies before, but this is the first time he felt he needed to actively campaign against a measure. They have decided we need it and the way we vote really doesn't count. Sheriff Daniel says this time is different. It's a lot about public safety and, and, and creating a safe environment for our families, our kids, uh, and, and, and creating jobs. The debate has become so heated this time around that pastors in Grants Pass got involved. We're just asking for their response and to making this a better place to live for their families and for their friends that visit and their neighbors. We keep saying no. This time, uh, hopefully it'll be a very emphatic no. And with just days left until ballots are counted, the back and forth is far from over. If the ballot measure fails, Sheriff Daniels says the department will have to reduce jail beds from 60 to about 130 and let go of 12 jail employees. Live in studio, Matt Jordan, NBC5 News.